What's up, YouTube? You know what I'm saying? I would usually post this video on my other channel, you know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna post it on uh my first one, you know what I'm saying? Look, straight into it, let me get 30k likes in the video. Straight into it, come on, man. Okay, so the first Hold serious on. moment that we're gonna talk about here is from the mukbang YouTuber, Nico called Avocado. It is Pretty much fuck. everybody here knows who he is. And a lot of us sense. can also see that throughout his content, he plays his exaggerated version slash character of himself. But at the beginning of one of his mukbang videos in February, he decided to have this speech where he broke character and talked about the nuances of what he does online. This this has been the greatest social experiment I've come to know. It's alluring to observe disoriented beings roam the internet in search of stories. I am the villain. I make myself one. I thought it would be a Nigga, what splendid you talking about, man? idea to go out and get some food. Tell me for you. Gee, are you surprised? Have you forgotten the story? Are you not paying attention? After all, you're here to consume. Are you not? Bro, I don't the rest even of the watch video him. was then followed by him God making leave. usual mukbang content in character. Now, the next moment that we got here has to do with Logan Paul. On one of Mike Malag's vlogs, both Mike and Logan were just chilling outside when that man was dating a porn star. A oh, came God. Up Link can go cross-site to take the photo. What you say? Yeah. I think you got the wrong guy. Nah, you famous. Look how you dressed. You got scars on your shirt, kicks. What is that? <laughs> what the f is that? Where's the fans? You are You're the fan, fan bro. Look at you standing around us. You the guy that's waiting for my Uber. What are you even saying? Huh? What you Yo, you're the fat French Montana. <laughs> now, as that happened at the beginning of the year, Logan's I mean, new business partner, that Brian wasn't KSI, also has some stuff go down later on. As when in August, when he was set to face two boxing opponents on the same night, the day of the weigh-ins came by and after everyone did their thing, one of KSI's previous opponents, Joe Weller, came about and tried to post up to him. Oh, he's walking in now. Oh, he's getting mad now. Man, oh, get like he's tough, man. Oh, my and Joe Weller's rampage didn't end there. He even then went on to get into it with KSI's editor, Mo Saeed. You got. You try to fight an editor, bro. Oh my goodness. Nigga, you weak. You weak for real. I ain't gonna lie, the editor look He swole. He definitely work out. Them, and them those conversations with Joe wouldn't be the only ones that KSI and his team would see. Just recently when JJ was done observing the weigh-ins for his Misfits Boxing 003 yeah, event, the notorious combat sports personality slash fighter Dylan Dennis will pull up and come face to face with KSI. Dylan, hey, hey, good, I'm, I'm, good. I'm, I'm, how you doing? It's not, I'm saying, look, a small I'm person, bro. No, I'm excited. Man, I'm excited. Hold on, you guys somebody, the hold on. All right, man, I'm hold back. On. Those are trash people. Come no, on. No, just stop. Yeah, yeah, Let man. me choke you out right here. No, I don't, you don't need to. No, yeah? But I can knock you out if I want to. Yeah, do it right now. What, right now? Time for that right now. Oh, a little slap. Yeah, no more. Let's look at it. Oh! Go, big bro. We got you on the building. On the building. We left. No. 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 And with that beef stirring up and then it leading to a full on brawl between Dylan's team and Anthony Taylor outside, KSI on the following day would announce that I'm not Dylan Dennis lie. will be his I next opponent and they will come face to face once again in the ring. Oh. Look at me in my eyes! Look at me in my eyes, bro! There we go. Yes, sir. Now, the next serious moments that we got here have to do with one of the biggest YouTubers that came up this year, Jadeon. With first mentioning boy. in January, he had gotten into some beef with Pokimane when he told his Twitch audience to essentially go and harass her stream, which it all then ended with Jadeon getting banned from the platform. Pokimane would go on a stream of hers Twitch to talk retarded. about the situation and would not only it just is. call out Jadeon's actions, but also mention another Twitch streamer's name, which was Ninjas. And this was because Ninja had previously made it seem like that he tried to get Jadeon on ban by sending out a text to a Twitch representative, and when Pokimane was talking about this, Pokimane had a pop up for a porn ad for a uh, porn hub on a stream. You know what I'm saying? A pop up, right? Nigga, if, if, if anything, she should be banned. You know what I'm saying? I seen it. This shit was it was trending on Twitter at one point. Situation she then you know received a DM from Ninja on Twitter. Okay. So? I can't. Like, I'm literally gonna throw up. 
I'm gonna so, throw like I don't want to be intimidated behind the scenes anymore. Please leave me alone, please. Like I've never been the first to go public about something like this. I'm doing this because like, I don't want to hold all this like stress and anxiety from people saying stuff to me behind the scenes. Like you're making a big mistake. This never happened. Like just leave me alone Man, please. Stop. or say, you didn't mean it and move on. Like, that would be fine. Kimberly said you are making a big mistake by being honest about what happened. This led to both Ninja and Pokemane not being fans of each other anymore. But on the other hand, bro, later who on, cares, Pokemane bro, and Jideon actually ended up squashing their own beef and are now friends still to this day. Jideon will continue to post on YouTube like the usual, messing with people and getting yeah, a rise not out of someone on like Twitch. GameStop employee. I just don't want to play games, so have a great day. You don't want to play games, but we're in GameStop. Hardware professor. God, that's so funny. Professor! This yeah, he's different. Lady. I ain't gonna lie. These Tommy in it stands. She got a whole sound on TikTok. Among many others. But none will get as mad as when Gideon messed with this Sin Mall artist here. He's on the phone right now. Get off the desk right now. Get off the desk right now. Get a real man. that woman gonna come up recording, man. I'm an artist just like you, bro. Nah, you're not, man. You're not. Oh, you know what? Let's have an art off. That man got patience, too. Not your chair. If you don't get out of here right now, you're really gonna regret it, man. Like, really, get out of that chair. <laughs> Why can't we just have an art off? Get out of the chair right now. Like, you're gonna let me oh, just gonna goodness. see your bug people all day long. No, you can draw them. Alright, I'll get out you. You go behind this roof again and you'll update, right? Uh -huh. Dude, I have told you, if you touch that paper again, I just I'll wanna slice the paper. Alright, I'll mess you up. Get Ooh. out of here right now. Oh. I told you four or five times. Stop touching the desk. Stop touching the paper. They cool now. Nah. Nah. I'll go back. Alright, all right. what's story. the next one? I ain't gonna lie. I need to do the next one. Just let me draw my customers in peace. Well, I'd sit yeah, on the desk I, I know. My hey man, I'm sorry I distracted you, bro. Dude his YouTube streams with his community. He, at times, does open up to his viewers and has these passionate moments happen. Y'all mean the world to me, bro. I love you guys, and I'm a- What happened? Bro, I'm gonna go crazy for y'all, bro. I love you guys. Y'all just changed my life, man. Y'all just changed my life, bro. Even after, like, the, like, hype down uh. and stuff like that, it's like, bro, I still have millions of boys still rocking with me every day. Well, guess what, Dad? Mm. Oh, he hit five mil. Oh. I just hit five million today. Thank you, Dad. Uh, that's good to see. I have five million subscribers, Mom. Congratulations. I said I wasn't gonna mm. cry, bro. Well, thank you guys are from the the bottom, bottom. YouTube Man, Music Premium oh, is an no way I got to the ad. Your music, so you can listen ad free. Download music for all. The bottom, bottom of my heart, bro. Like. <laughs> I cannot thank you guys enough, man. And kind of switching gears to another YouTuber slash streamer that was on the big Kai the biggest year, Twitch streamer right now. Had rice rapidly on Twitch, where when the month of September came by, he had reached the milestone of 80,000 subscribers, which easily then made him the most subscribed to English. Boy, he be doing everything on, on stream. And this notable milestone was everything. Reached, Kai's mom called him up on the phone and then had this and it's all random moment with him. Dave, I'm so proud of you. You're number one. And you my son. And I'm so happy to be your mom. They got a whole TikTok sound because of this too. That you been working hard like this for a long time. So you only now know you just finding out my son work hard. And on that same stream later on, Kai will use this platform to call out Twitch for never acknowledging him or any of his fellow streamers that were doing big things. That's how it is, man. Yo, Twitch, there's not one time I've seen anybody in my community on the fucking front page of your platform, bro. I don't care if it's not me. I haven't seen not one person in my community on the fucking front page of y'all platform. Mm. It's deeper than what yeah, it they is, changed bro. It now. They don't want to recognize they changed real. It now. Let it's, this be uh, a he message, called him out. Yo, Twitch, there's no reason why. There's nobody on the front page of y'all platform, bro. Twitch ended up finally acknowledging Kai in the 
They be showing them titty streamers on, 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 on the front page of Twitch. Future. So it seems like his call out did well for him and his community there. And for the final moments of this video, we got some Mr. Beast. Now, Mr. Beast videos are usually a beat, fast paced, and have it that it is. energy all around. Entertaining. Him. So it's very rare to see something serious go down in his uploads. But on his I didn't eat food for 30 days video, we did have this one moment take place where the challenge was evidently getting to him. And it's been 12 days since I ate food. And the day only mm. got worse from there. I was so not that I couldn't film for more than 20 minutes without sitting down for a break. Oh my god, I'm gonna throw up. At one point, I almost scrapped the chocolate factory video because I was so low energy. And the last set of serious moments that we had here. This man fasted for 30 days. 30. You know what I'm saying? I don't eat till 2 o'clock in the afternoon. You know what I'm saying? And that's, I ain't go, that's crazy. Came from that's this crazy. Colin and Samir video. Where in it, they took the scenes of Mr. Beast opening up the first physical days. location of his restaurant, Mr. Beast Burger. This opening brought thousands of people to the location where they came in to show support for Mr. Beast. And also wanted that's to a lot get of a people. chance to meet the guy himself and take photos with him. And in the midst of all of this, with the crazy attendance, the task of Mr. Beast getting to everybody started to weigh in on everyone, including the main man himself. You're not going to be able to take pics with 10,000 people today. Maybe we're so, gonna come to ten. I don't know. I need people thinking and helping me. Oh man, boy, that man love his people, man. He love them. The expectation was not that you were taking pictures with everyone to say this wasn't. Okay, a, well, I want this wasn't happy. a meet and greet. I want them happy. Like we were I want them happy. happy. I want them happy. I want them people were happy. So I don't know if they're happy. Boy, that man care about his people, man. After they take That's them good to see. Move them out of here. Why are we allowing them to linger? Yeah, I know. The only issue is the merch store is right there. Why is there a merch store? Well, I'm just saying, like, they, they get rid of it. Give it to them for free. I don't care. Am I speaking to the British? I feel Absolutely like not. Like, it yeah. needs to be, that needs, if you take a photo, you're out. You're, I, I've said that 30,000 times. Yeah, but I think they need to get the security guards now involved. In the end, mm. everything seemed to have gone great, and Mr. Beast was able to do something incredible once again. And with that, that'll do it for this video. This was that man love his this people, man. YouTuber serious moments. Part I'm not gonna lie, this video was all right. You know what I'm saying? But go ahead, like, comment, subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Roll to 1K. You know what I'm saying? You taking lies all on purpose. You telling lies like it's serving your mind.